G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to episode two of our series into Australia's most invasive animals. Now, we explained back in episode number one, invasive species are a huge issue to a whole host of Australian wildlife. And in episode number one, we talked about the 10th most invasive species, the feral cow. So if you haven't heard of that one, go back and check it out. But in this episode, we're down to number nine, and we're talking about an animal that's a whole heap smaller, that actually impacts a lot more species than the feral cow does. So stick around, guys. It should be an interesting video. In ninth place, we have the black rat. Now, Australia's actually got three species of rat that have been introduced into our country since Europeans arrived. There's the black rat, the brown rat, and the Pacific rat. But it's the black rat who's made the top 10 for our most invasive species. Now, black rats pose a bunch of potential threats to threatened species here in Australia. But the first one is actually as a predator. Now, people might be surprised to think of this. You think of rats as scavengers, living off the food that human beings leave behind. And they certainly like to do that. But they are actually predators in their own right. A good example of how rats can predate upon an animal to the point of almost extinction happened on Lord Howe Island. On Lord Howe Island, on an island off the east coast of New South Wales, they've got a native Australian stick insect called a phasmid, the Lord Howe Island stick insect. Now, before the rats arrived on Lord Howe Island, these stick insects were so common that they were used as fishing bait by the locals. They were everywhere. But within two years of black rats arriving, they were extinct. You couldn't find them on Lord Howe Island itself. Now, 40 years later, they did find a handful of Lord Howe Island sick insects living on basically a rock in the ocean called Ball's Pyramid off Lord Howe Island itself. But on Lord Howe Island, the black rat ate the Lord Howe Island sick insects into local extinction. So predators, they certainly are. Now, if that's not enough, rats obviously don't just eat stick insects or other animals in general. Rats will eat pretty much whatever they can find. And a big part of their diet, here in Australia at least, is seeds. Now, by eating seeds, rats can have a few negative impacts on the environment and threatened species. By selecting certain seeds over others, they can impact the way that certain plants have the ability to germinate. If they're eating all the seed bank of one plant, that plant doesn't have an opportunity to reproduce and won't exist in future ecosystems. So they can threaten plants and change plant communities and then threaten the animals that need those plants. They can also pose significant competition to all our native roads. People think of Australia as just being full of marsupials, but we do have a wide variety of native Australian rodents who haven't really had to put up with the competition of these hardy introduced rats. So they can outcompete native rodents, they eat native seeds, change ecosystems, and they predate upon all kinds of other animals. Now, if that's not enough to be considered the ninth most invasive species in Australia, rats pose another issue, and that is that rats can form sort of a, a pathway for other invasive species. Things like cats and foxes have a, an ability to make a foothold to establish themselves when there's a population of something like rats to already feed upon. So there's islands around the world and potentially here in Australia where by rats having arrived, the cats have a step up when they arrive. Once the rats are all eaten, they move on to the native animals there. So rats can also in some ways help other invasive species become established as well. Because of all this, rats considered the ninth most invasive species and place 42 threatened species under the risk of extinction. So there you go, guys. In terms of the impact on threatened species here in Australia, the black rat is our ninth most invasive species. But make sure you tune in next week because number eight is a plant. So let me know in the comments what you think it's gonna be. Now, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something. But if you haven't already, guys, please make sure you leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel because there is a whole heap more invasive species to come and there's over 200 other videos talking about all kinds of Australian wildlife on our channel. So see you back here next week, guys. Check out our other videos. Between now and then, have a good one and take care.